So hi, hello and welcome, Micro Hunter here again. And today I'm going to show you again a few beautiful specimens that I found in a water sample, some microscopic specimens. Well, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I like to put things under the microscope and I'd like to explore the world uh, by looking at the very small things. And if you are interested in where I found uh, the, all of those specimens, well, then this is the first part of the video. And then later on, um, I'm going to show you what I found uh, under the microscope. So, but I'm first going to take you all the way uh, to Paris, uh, to France, uh, to show you where I collected uh, those samples. I'm right now all on the west of Paris and there's a beautiful recreational area here, a large lake, uh, park area. And I'm sitting, as you can see, I'm on a little boat and uh, plenty of algae here, plenty of uh, samples and specimens. Uh, so I'll try my luck here. I re rented a boat uh, there and as I went out, I saw that uh, there was lots of green stuff, algae and other things floating on the surface of the water. I was very happy, of course. <laughs> wow, so many things to observe under the microscope. But actually, this is not always a good sign. If you have too many algae, then this means that uh, there is a little bit of over-fertilization happening, eutrophication, we say. Um, and if there are too many nutrients um, in the water, then this also means that uh, there can be an algal bloom. Now, in any case, uh, I didn't worry about that. I rather collected uh, a few samples here and uh, put them into my little plastic container and I took it home to put under the microscope. I'm going to now show you a little bit more of the environment of where I collected uh, those specimens and then later on I'm going to show you all of the things that I found under the microscope. I did make a little mistake though and I would like to give you the advice that you do not repeat this mistake. I put a, a, a screw cap um, on the plastic container and this caused the specimen to decompose after a few days. So I should have left it open um, but uh, unfortunately it started to decompose a little bit and this actually resulted in some of the organisms dying. But still, I can reassure you, there are plenty of interesting uh, microorganisms uh, that I found. Yeah, here it's a very quiet uh, place uh, compared uh, to the busyness of, of the large city. Well, this is the sample uh, that uh, I had in about a week and a half later. And uh, I made uh, then some temporary mounts. I dipped uh, some of the algae um, on a microscope slide with a cover glass and I was able to see a lot of planktonic algae. And uh, these algae, they are floating around in the water and it's a colonial algae that is very common. Um, and it has very nice shapes obviously and you can also see the individual cells. Here you can see a lot of bacteria around it. And this is already a sign that the water sample started to decompose. It was actually a mistake uh, that I made. I always leave uh, the cap open. I had some identification issues here. Uh, there are two names that this organism goes with, uh, but uh, it's also one of the very common uh, organisms that can be found. Um, and uh, this one, of course, is also a classic uh, that uh, can be found quite often in the uh, body of water that you observe. Now, I did not only find algae, but already the aforementioned uh, yeah, larva. So this, again, is not a worm, but it is uh, the so-called the larva of the biting midge, biting midge is some kind of a, a fly and um, yeah apparently it causes a very painful and a very itchy a bite uh, when it starts uh, yeah to attack you <laughs> um, in any case uh, we can see that uh, many of those uh, insects they lay their eggs in the water and uh, then the larval stages sometimes develop in the water um, and then you have the adults emerging here this one over here also very common and um, is uh, a so-called a test a test is uh, a shell of an amoeba amoeba a single celled uh, protists and and uh, they're able to change their shape um, around. Slightly larger, um, these uh, so-called ostracods belong uh, to, the, to the crabs or rather to the crustaceans, they're related to the crabs. And uh, of course, other multicellular organisms are of course rotifers. I did not find so many of those because I think unfortunately many of them already died out because the sample was a little bit too old. 
Yes, I did find some uh, other nice uh, algae um, over there. You know that these are algae because they're a little bit green on the inside. These are the chloroplasts. Um, and uh, of course, uh, my identification book helped me a little bit here. But there are so many different forms and shapes out there that um, it's quite likely also that there are some uh, forms and uh, al shapes there that cannot be pictured in an identification book. Also another worm here, I don't know which one, um, but uh, it's a very clearly not an, um, an uh, it's a clearly an annelid worm, which is a segmented worm, because if you zoom in a little bit, you can see the segments. Yeah, spirilla, the bacteria. Why are there so many of them there? They're not supposed to be in there. Well, they're in there because they started to multiply as the sample started to age. Because I put the cap on it, the whole thing grew anaerobic and bacteria started to multiply. There were too few ciliates in there to eat up uh, these bacteria. Um, and for this reason, they could really multiply very quickly. Now, I like the corkscrew way that these uh, uh, spirilla started to move around. But uh, after a few minutes of observation, I was also able to find an amoeba. Now this here is time lapse, and it actually shows how the amoeba is trying to engulf this large piece of whatever it is, debris. Yeah, but it was not successful. Yeah. So how do I actually uh, like uh, this uh, place here? Well. It's a very beautiful place that I can highly recommend and I'll decide, I decide to give it three stars out of three stars because of all of the variety um, of life that I was able to find in there, even though the sample already started to turn bad. But I think a very nice place uh, to visit, not only to collect microscopic samples, but also to spend an afternoon there. And uh, with that, I'm going to leave it. I hope it, that you liked uh, this video here. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.